Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and there has been some very interesting changes to Atlas's life. We are here with Atlas, the bear butt biter, who as you guys know had a really terrible, terrible thing happen to him last time. He almost died, in fact I was worried that he was possibly dead for good, by a bear last time. And you guys all rallied together and you were like, no Atlas, no, don't die, don't die. Let's storm his mate, nurse him back up to help. And so we have. We have let's storm and nurse atlas back up to help he is back but he is pretty changed just in case you guys can't tell his collar is now gone and since so many of you guys requested this idea and it seemed like a really really great idea he now has a limp so now his right or his left back leg is permanently broken and he has a permanent limp so you can see look at him Look at him go! Look at him go! But Storm has done a wonderful job of nursing him back up to help so that they are able to claim their area once again. Look at him! His poor little leg, it just doesn't work at all. And it has been a long, long time. It's probably been a few weeks since he has been inside of their den, just kind of recovering, trying to get his strength back, and they haven't been able to keep up their pack territory markers as much as they should. So we are going to start off there. Oh, his poor little leg. We're gonna start off there with Atlas like slowly learning how to walk again and the first thing he does is of course come out and try to mark some of the territory so that they can keep the area safe. Maybe keep some of those bears that came by and totally like tore him apart last time. That bear was just so strong. Atlas has always just been so powerful and so strong and able just to like go up to any bear he wanted and bite it in the butt and chase it away. And that one completely almost destroyed him. But look at, oh, look at his poor little leg. It's so sad. All right, well, and Storm's going around sniffing things too. Yeah, so she's helping to contribute to marking our territory. But there you go. So he can run pretty well with it, actually. So I bet Storm's pretty relieved because her mate's doing okay. They're both very curious wolves, so I'm sure that she was able to like maybe gnaw the collar off and drag it or maybe use it to drag him into the den and take care of him but we'll go ahead we'll mark the territory and the puppies will probably be born today I bet storm is just about ready to burst and spring is right around the corner because Atlas there you go buddy because Atlas has been resting for so long that's our story inside of the den recovering from the attack by the bear I can't believe how strong that bear was. I really was not expecting that. But what we might do is we will actually take Atlas out to go hunting with his mate Storm. And we'll have to see how they hunt now that they have both had so long a time of having to kind of rest and recuperate. So there, we'll leave the territory at about 50% marked for now. And let's go down. Yeah, he's running pretty well on three legs. So it doesn't seem to be hindering him whatsoever. But let's come down with Storm if she's going to follow us. Yeah, she's following us. And we'll go ahead and we'll do a little bit of elk hunting. So that we can see how well he can hunt with his new situation. His collar's gone. His leg has a strong limp. So, oh, there will lair the elk. So let's go ahead. And we're going to try to swim over here and spook the elk. As many of them as we can speak, at least. Off you go, ladies. Off you go. So he's swimming okay with it. He can seem to move it a little bit when he's swimming. That look is like, I will take you on. I will kick you. No, don't kick my mate. All right, there we go. And this one seems to be the weakest of the three. Come on, Storm. And let's see how Storm can help us hunt. Ah, oh, Atlas. Always those powerful bites, as usual. Oh, he's doing really good. Oh, did you see Storm just come on in? She was like, yeah, we've got this. Oh, do we need to move the elk? Oh my gosh, they're so fast. That was so quick. No, the elk. <laughs> and we lost the food because it was in the water. Curses. All right, yeah, we have to move the elk next time. All right, well, that sucked. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a little bit of food for them. All right, let's see. Anything? Let's go ahead, we'll start chasing the elk again. Sorry, Storm. Hopefully Atlas doesn't get totally brained by an elk. All right, whoops, got stuck in the little hole. Okay, watch out, Storm. We're chasing the elk again. We're gonna have to pick another weak one. This one right here, I guess. All right, let's get her. Together, Storm, together. But not in the water. 
They're crafty. It's almost like they're trying to go in the water. Like, if you kill me, you'll get nothing out of it. Nothing out of it, I say. Storm, you're doing a good job, but we gotta get her out of the water. Okay, now we can go ahead. All right, his stamina is pretty low. Oh, keep her away from the river. Keep her away from the river. Keep her away from the river, Storm. No storm, no storm, no storm. Hang on, storm, no. Don't do it, storm. Don't do it, storm. Wait, we need to push her. We need to, can we push her? Can we eat her? Eat her quick. <laughs> this is terrible. That's the second time they've lost their food to the cursed river. Now it's like a curse of the river. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Is there one more elk they can hunt? This is just awful. Oh my gosh, look. They look like they're laying down. Do they lay down? No, they're just sticking their heads out there. All right. That's the last weak one. Oh my gosh. Let's get her past. Oh, I can't even see her help. What is that about? That's odd. All right, come on, Storm. We can do this. Come on, don't let her go near the river. Don't let her go near the river. Come on. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, they're gonna have some food. Oh my gosh, they both really needed that. <laughs> that was that was pretty intense. Okay, but they can hunt. They just took down three elk together. Three elk. That was amazing. Good job, you guys. So they just took down three of them. Um, the herd should be able to re resupply itself. Are you two stuck? Because that would be pretty useful if you were stuck. Um, I'm going to go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and take this one out. Even if she is fighting. All right, chase her away from the river. Okay, chase her away from the river. There we go. Oh, look at them go, these two. They are so good at hunting. They're just like going through this, this group. Fantastic. All right, the health is topped off. So now they have taken down two elk. We've got scent marks for quite a few others too. What is this? So here's the elk we just killed. And are there really so many scent marks for other elk? For real? Is this a carcass over here too? Wonderful. All right, so there's carcasses everywhere. This is a little bunny that they, they killed earlier. Is there, is there? Yeah, and there's a scavenger over there. Or there's like a elk to scavenge off of over there too. All right, well now we can come back over and we'll work on marking up the territory so that these guys have plenty of their territory space marked off. Storm has just had what is possibly her first really good meal in ages. I can't believe how quick they were to just like zoom through those elk. That was amazing. They did really quick work. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna get our territory markers up and then I think it's gonna be time for Atlas's babies to be born. So I'm very excited about Storm and Atlas being able to have their litter because as you guys said, you wanted Atlas to have just at least one litter and it's gonna be so exciting for him to have his own young. And then we're gonna be following the Nightlight Moon Legacy. So that's gonna be really interesting to see how his brother Nightlight, who is the heir to the Moon Pack Legacy, carries on with his puppies and his mate Pandora. And so far I think that Nightlight and Pandora are definitely the strongest of the wolves, but Atlas and Storm definitely have something very, very special going on. All right. Almost there. There we go. <laughs> it's gonna be time, you guys. Congratulations, you have successfully established your territory. Because you marked and patrolled the perimeter, stranger wolves are less likely to come into your territory and interfere with your hunting and pup rearing. And, <gasps> babies! Oh my gosh, we've got two girls, two boys. All right, I am so excited. You guys suggested so many amazing names. I wrote down a huge list and then randomly like made, picked from them and made a list of like four girls, four boys to pick from. So for our little girls, we've got Rain, which was highly requested. And we've also got Blizzard, which was highly requested because those are both really awesome names. And then we've got Bear, because we decided we definitely had to name a puppy Bear if he had a little boy. And then the last one is going to be uh, Thunder, actually. So it, can, so it can be like Storm, Sun, Thunder. So we have Rain, Blizzard, Bear, and Thunder. So let's see what the puppies look like. Oh my gosh, Atlas, you have puppies! You have puppies! What are they going to look like? Oh my gosh, 
I think they, oh, and it's raining. That's perfect. Perfect timing. And we need to train the puppies. I think Bear looks like his mom. He's a little bit, like, Rain, I think, looks like his mom. Thunder and Blizzard, I think, oh, I don't know. They all have really light paws. Do they all take after their mom, more or less? No, they look like a good blend, actually. I think these puppies are kind of a blend. They all look like they have a nice white undercoat. Oh my gosh, of course it would storm with the babies born. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, look at how cute they are. And we need to collect them and teach them their pack affinity now. Oh, I can see them better now. Yeah, I would definitely say that... Oh, they're getting hungry. Oh my goodness. I would definitely say... Oh, coyote, coyote, coyote. Already a coyote. All right, Atlas. Now he might be, like, suspecting for the first time in his life. Oh, wait. Maybe I need to, like, defend these from these things. Maybe they aren't just for playing. Because normally he just plays with the coyotes. Storm, where are you going? Hey, Storm. Oh, you're just coming over to the puppies. Are you going to feed them? Oh, look at her. Look at all of our little babies. Oh, my gosh. Who do they look more like, you guys? I think they actually have Storm's, like, undercoat. And then, otherwise, they kind of look like they've got a dark overlayer. Yeah, I think Rain has the most white. Rain and Thunder seem to have the most white under their fur. But everybody has a an over layer of kind of like the... There's a lot of reds in Thunder, too. So that must be Soul and, and Twilight coming out. That's so awesome. All right, so the puppies are going to be here. They're going to stay by the den. Now we've got to defend them. Thunder, don't wander off, son. Really worried about you guys. I don't want you all to wander off. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Are they going to play with each other? Oh, Blizzard. Blizzard is the first target. Our little girl has a coyote eyeing her up. We're not going to let that happen. Not going to let that happen. All right, where's that coyote? Oh crap, where'd it go? Fudge to the knuckles. There it is. All right. Oh, it's a smart coyote. Oh my gosh. Did you see how I just like doubled back? Oh my gosh, I'm glad we took care of that. Oh, it was a smart coyote. Don't worry, Storm. We've got it, we've got it. All right, it might be time to feed them pretty soon. We'll stay up here just a little bit longer. I think Storm's going down to gather up. No, you, you need our help? Are you bringing back food? Are you just hanging out? Yeah, look at them. I'm getting a better look at the puppies now. And I think that they're actually one of the first litters. Thunder, you're displaying. Thunder and Bear, you two are displaying some of your grandfather's uh, behavior right there. But I think this is one of the first litters that we really have where they're like a huge mix of parentage. So you can see a lot of like the different colors blended into each other. So they really are kind of like a mishmash, mostly of white and then a black and red overlayer. All right, Rain is the next target. Why is it always my girls? Oh, that's fine. It's the first bear we have to fight since the limping incident. Atlas isn't gonna stop. Ooh, get away, get away, get away, get away. All right, we chased the grizzly bear away. Huzzah. Oh, and Storm is like, what on earth is going on over here? I can't leave for two seconds. All right, so that's going okay. Let's howl to let everybody gain a little pack affinity. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh, Storm has the most awesome, like, complainy howl. And now let's look for some of that food that we saw. So we'll, let's go ahead and scavenge off a couple of the carcasses. There's a little bit of bunny. We'll actually come down here and we'll eat this hair for ourselves because I think Atlas prefers the hair, to be honest. And then let's go back up and we're going to feed our babies and we're going to defend them. And Atlas is going to be a good dad. I wonder if his life as a wolf is going to be short or if he's going to be fine due to the um, due to the little limp he has. So we'll have to see just how long that limp is with him and if it's going to hinder him or if it's not going to bother him at all for when it comes to taking care of his puppies. All right, so back up to the babies. There we go. And I feel like Storm is watching after Atlas too. She's like, are you all right? Like really curious about what he's doing when he's away from the den. All right, babies. I don't see any bears behind you. Thank goodness. Let's go ahead and feed the babies. Feed our hungry little ones. So there's for rain and thunder. Hi, Storm. Yeah, these guys are a good mix of colors. 
All right, whoops, and Blizzard. Really, Blizzard? A coyote. A coyote has caught your scent. The coyote is behind us. Where is he? There he is. All right, Storm's playing with the babies. She's like, there's nothing to worry about as dad like runs off to kill a coyote. I love how it's storming again. That just is so appropriate for over here. And Storm's like, is everything all right? I told the kids nothing was fine. Like everything was fine. Oh my gosh. All right, so we've defended our baby again. Bear needs a little bit of food. There you go, little ones. Oh, it's so exciting, Rain. There you go. And that uses up all the food we have for now. And once again, it is raining and storming. Oh my gosh. And we're just like laying down here with our puppies. They're so cute. Oh, and we need to be marking territory too. Oh, Blizzard. Oh my gosh, these puppies, they just don't have a moment's rest. All right, another coyote has smelled the scent. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, Atlas, where are you going? All right, another coyote has smelled the scent of our puppies. It's not happening, buddy. Get out of here. There we go. And we have taken him out. I wonder how many coyotes we've taken out over all of the wolf generations we've done. All right. And we're gonna go back home. There we go. And <laughs> what a storm, oh my gosh. But I think we're good now, I think we're good. Look at all the babies hang out with their mom. That is so cool. So I'm gonna stay here and we are going to defend our puppies while Storm heads out to get more food. We're gonna make sure they're all safe and Atlas seems to be doing pretty good even though he really is kind of dealing with an entirely new, uh, new state of life since he has to go ahead and have this limp now. But I'm glad he was able to survive the bear attack. Almost every single one of you were like, no way, Atlas has to survive. He's my favorite. So we are here with him. He's starting to figure out how he can uh, like mark territory and take care of everything to make sure his puppies are safe. And we will come back with him in another, like I think in a couple days after we visit with Nightlight. And we will see how Atlas and his puppies are going to do. We'll have to sniff around, maybe discover rain. <laughs> oh my gosh, Coyote? Yeah, it's a long- Oh, did you see the thunder? Oh my gosh. And there's a tree on fire right next to our babies. That's okay. Alright, babies, don't panic. There's the coyote. Alright, we gotta get him. I'm not gonna let anything eat our babies. There we go. There's another one, and there's a fire <laughs> next to the den, and the babies are all okay. This is- this is good. This is fine. I'm sure this is fine. All right, but everyone seems like they're doing just fine. So I will see you guys next time when we will continue on these very stormy, perfectly like wonderful days taking care of our little babies. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.